Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to pay the bills, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got to pay the bills, baby. Uh, all my you know, TikTok people hit that follow button. All my Instagram people hit that follow button. And all my people that's on uh, YouTube hit the subscribe button, man. But we're going to talk about DJ Vlad. And I mean, apologizing and stuff like that to the professor and stuff like that. And uh, the world is not really taking it in. <laughs> They're not accepting um, DJ Vlad apology. You know what I mean? Trying to get the lady uh, fired from her job and things of that nature. Yeah, especially when the women of our culture, it was, it's, they said it all stemmed from the Kendrick Lamar Drake thing. And uh, DJ Vlad felt like the beat wasn't mixed right or something like that. And um, he had put a few comments in the, in the comment section, basically tagging in the, uh, the school that she was at and stuff like that and trying to get her fired and showing the comments that she said because it was, she said this, com this conversation for the culture, not you. You know what I mean? And then it kind of like went to a race or a race type of thing. You know what I mean? And uh, my opinions on that and my thoughts on that is just like, sometimes, bro, what you say can be very damaging. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're trying to get somebody fired or you you attempting to showcase that this person uh, said something that you felt like was a little on a race, race based type of thing. You know what I mean? But I feel like the community looking at Vlad, they always looked at Vlad in a bad way. Even when he did that, uh, uh, that Farrakhan thing, you know what I mean? Different things. We misquoted certain things and stuff like that. And not just that, all the allegations that came with multiple people that did interviews with him. And then they ended up getting cases. And then we found out that he, he saw the Tupac case. And, you know what I mean? People look at Vlad as the police, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know uh, uh, my man Tony Yayo and uh, a lot of people rock with him and stuff like that. But I feel like he still got a stench on him. And I seen he made up with Nori and things of that nature. My my opinion, like Vlad, how could I say this, man? Vlad got so comfortable into the culture that sometimes he don't identify who he is. I actually think Vlad wake up sometimes thinking he want he 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 of our coach at times, and sometimes he'll say things and he not knowing that they're not looking at you the same way because. He thinking he 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 of our coach basically when he wake up. And I say think sometimes when he write he think that way too, and when he, the way he wrote he thought the response was gonna be like we gonna ride with Vlad. No, that's not gonna how that's gonna happen when you do stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I said before, like first of all, a woman of our coach, and then you say something like that, it's gonna go over real bad, and then you apologizing for it. But is it is you apologizing because of the heat that's on you, or you apologizing because you really felt like? I was just frustrated at that moment and I said some things that I shouldn't have said. And sometimes people don't know your your true intentions when you apologize. You know what I mean? And like I said before, I'm one of those people that's like, man, people make mistakes and stuff like that. But me, personally, I always say like, for instance, like when I meet a person for the first time, if they're not day one people that I know and they cross me, I tend to don't rock with them anymore. I might forgive you. And within my faith, I forgive you. And I understand you may have made a mistake, but I can never rock with you again, but I do forgive you. And I think that's what's happening to the public. It's like people have been feeling a certain way about Vlad. You know what I mean? When it comes to what he's been doing as far as the coach, the young boy that got, I think he got uh, somebody ran up into his house and stuff like that and, and got at him or something like that. And then the young boy ended up passing away later on. Well, some of the guys found him and he was taunting him and stuff like that. And it came from the Vlad interview. A lot of people feel like Vlad letting that boy get on that platform and doing that. Is the reason why this situation happened like that. And I think people, a lot of people blame Vlad for a lot of stuff. The ARF thing, people blame Vlad for that. You know what I mean? But my opinion is like, I'm with Tony Yayo. You know what I mean? Sometimes you miss, you, you get too com See, Vlad is one of them type of people. He's like a therapist, man. Like, basically, he make you feel comfortable. So, and that's what good interviews do. They make you feel comfortable, and then you start to say things that you ain't supposed to be saying. And then they get investigated. And then they get, and like I said, they could, like, like uh, basically, go, go, oh, Vlad ain't had nothing to do with it, but they gave, it gave the police and the people that was investigating ideas. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm going on the Vlad show and I start talking about criminal things, that, that's say, well, 10 years, a couple of years back, it's just giving the people that's looking into you ideas of what you may be a part of now. Not the 10 years ago, but now. And now they be able to put them cases together. That's basically what they're doing with the Vlad thing. But uh, I, I think it was a bad look. I ain't saying his apology is a bad look. I think what he said was a bad look. And then his attention. People don't know, is, do he really mean that? Or is it because of the heat that he getting? You know what I mean? So like I said, I ain't going to hold him. You know what I mean? Y'all give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinion about the Vlad situation and what y'all think. 
You know what I mean? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're on YouTube and follow me on, on uh, TikTok and uh, Instagram. Much love, guys.